Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day you've given to us. And as we always say, Father, according to your word, we will rejoice and be glad in today. So, Lord, we've come to submit ourselves and the program today in you, in, unto you, asking you to take absolute control of all that will be done here today. We welcome your presence, Holy Spirit, and we ask that you have life of you. Blessed be your name, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Welcome. Thank you. How was your... How was my sleep? <laughs> <laughs> your women is there. Oh, I didn't even remember that one. Thank God for my husband. If not, I won't even know that we were so <laughs> I'm sorry. But it I was saw, good. <laughs> I saw it from someone status. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, when I was told today's event, I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Um, so welcome, guys. I hope uh, you enjoyed, um, especially women exactly. yesterday. I hope it was funny. Oh, it was good. Maybe I think it. everybody just went to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it was funny, honestly, because it was. Not weekend. Yeah, exactly. I guess mm. that's right. So maybe it's today. Mm. You're taking me out, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we are out. We are not inside. Now. Okay, we. <laughs> we are out already. So <laughs> we are not in the house. So. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh yes. Okay. So, the MTS, as I, as we always talk about on our channel, the Missionary Training School application is ongoing for anybody who has a calling to missions and do not know where or how to begin. MTS is for you, and for those who want to just have a season set apart. For just them and God to grow in faith and you know just have that time alone with God. MTS is also for you. Um, please reach out to us on the contact on, on your screen and mm -hmm. ask anything you want to know concerning the school, regarding the school. And if you want to apply, reach out to us as well and we will send the application forms to you. The school starts on the 3rd of June 2000. 2024 and it's an 18 weeks program we look forward to having you god bless you and also if you have testimony or to share with people but you don't have platform we are here yeah. yeah and don't forget to like subscribe share and watch and you know, comment. yesterday i saw someone was complaining I got 1,000 views. Oh. But only two likes. People now, they become stingy. I don't know, maybe it's because in market everything is expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the funny thing, one of the things I've realized is that this rise of price of things is not only in Nigeria, it's everywhere. Mm. Now, that's not to say that things should be rising. But we all, everybody is going through it. There is nobody who is not experiencing, mm. you know, the way things rise in the market. There's nobody that is not experiencing it. And we're mm. praying for, for better days ahead. Mm. Yeah. You said, the guy, you said, please, my viewers, <laughs> once you open my ring, like, like. <laughs> don't just view, but like, but you be thankful that they even view. What if they don't view? <laughs> so, we greet you 
all in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we welcome you to Mucho mm. Jambo mm-hmm. YouTube channel mm-hmm. where we talk about everything mm. faith, mm. God, how it affects us, the, the challenges we have mm. as the body of Christ. Not so that we can break down one another. Mm-mm, that's not the intention. Mm. Or to stir up a rebellion, God forbid. But like the Bible says, the little foxes that that spoil the vine. Mm. We want to be open to ourselves as Mm. brethren and say these are the foxes that spoil the vine. Can we, Mm. you know, put an end to it so that this vine can be beautiful when our Lord comes? Yeah, that's why platform is open for you. Yeah. So feel free, join. Yeah. Uh, I think yesterday we said that we are going to talk about one of uh, our topic. Leadership. Uh-huh. I see yesterday you were about to go deep. Ah, I said, no, 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 <laughs> calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. I, I think the way I, you sound yesterday is like you have it. Oh yes, I do. I have um, experience. And you see, leadership is a beautiful thing. Um, the Bible says that when a child is a ruler, I'm going to paraphrase it. It's like they don't know where they are heading. But when you have good leadership, it's always a beautiful experience because there is always a covering that leadership brings. A covering. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about the kind of covering that, that covers the glory, no. Mm-hmm. But a covering of security, like a fatherhood. Mm-hmm. That's what leadership expresses. There's a part of leadership that expresses fatherhood. There's another part of leadership that expresses motherhood. And these things come together to help those who are under that government experience safety, love, acceptance, nurturing, you know, so that they can rise into who God has created them to be. So mm. leadership is a wonderful thing. God is, a, is, is, the, is, the, is the perfect expression of leader, leadership that anybody could look to and learn from. You know, he said, when the when the wicked rules, the people mourn. Mm. But when the righteous, you know, rule, there are shouts of joy. So, God established leadership to for the benefit of the people, so that there can be order, there can be law and order, there can be guide, mm. there can be direction, and this is why God puts up this thing. But because man is still battling with this thing called the flesh, you find errors in leadership. And the beauty about God is he doesn't doesn't break us down because Mm. of our errors. He doesn't. But when there are errors, what he does is he, he comes to correct those errors because the way of man already is error because of sin Mm -hmm. but god comes to correct those errors so that the man can now function in what is right because the man does not know of his own what Mm -hmm. is right i have been opportuned to work closely with leadership very closely with leadership and i've had experiences and seen things that broke my heart honestly and it's not because I don't appreciate leaders no 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 I I, I am one person that strongly believes in honoring a leader mm. I believe in honoring authority I don't I don't believe in despising authority I don't agree to it I don't care what anybody wants to say, I don't agree to the spicing of authority. The Bible says that we should honor those who are in authority over us. 
to submit to authority. Mm. The only time you cannot submit is when the authority is asking you to go against God, like we saw in Daniel, when mm. they said, bow to this image, you say, ah. They even called him, O King. So they recognized the authority that God had placed on Nebuchadnezzar. But they said, we will not, we are not afraid to, you know, to, die. to disobey you in this matter. Mm. In this matter, there is no two ways. Mm. You better throw us into that fire. Mm. Because this one, you are crossing the boundary. Mm. You are making yourself an authority over God and we cannot agree to that. Mm. Yeah, it's to die. We were, we, this one, we are dying. We have chosen, we are dying. Mm. Because on this matter, we are not negotiating it. There is no, let's look at it in any other way. And that's the only time we are permitted to say no to authority. Mm. But as long as the authority is not against God, Jesus will say, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Meaning, the one that is supposed to be Caesar's honor, give Caesar. Mm -hmm. but, Pay don't, your tax. but don't allow him to abuse. Uh -huh. Pay your tax. Do what you need to do that brings the law and order. Mm -hmm. You know? So there is that part. But there's also the part, like Paul will say, fathers, do not exasperate your children. What does that mean? Don't get your children to the point where they have had enough. Mm -hmm. Don't abuse them. Because one is supposed to submit to authority doesn't give the person in authority the right to abuse the person. Paul said to the master, said masters, remember that you have a master also. Mm. Who is God? So when you're dealing with your servants, deal with them with understanding. Mm. Don't handle them less than animals. Mm. Because you also have one who is your master and their master. Simply put, you wear their shoes. First. Yeah. <laughs> you also have a master mm. who is their master. And so, if you treat them anyhow, he will come for you. Mm. You know? So, yesterday I was talking about when leaders call, you know, their support, their subordinates into their space only so that they can drag information mm. from their mouth and one of the things i've seen is when you say an organization or a place or you know a church is having <coughs> issues having issues mm. having issues before you think i'm going to check the permit me to use the word floor members check the leadership because the oil will always flow from Aaron's head. Mm. It doesn't start from Aaron's head. Mm. It starts from Aaron's head. Then from the head, it goes down mm. to the beard. Goes down to the whole body. Mm. Goes down till it comes to the hem of the skirt where mm. the feet is and touches the feet. So if the challenge is to look at the feet, then you're making a problem. For yourself mm. because we only we only receive what i see we only produce what we have put in you cannot get the results of what you have not put in so if you are seeing strife in your midst what have you planted if you're seeing gossip in your midst, what I, I was with someone one time and I was talking about these issues and she said to me, she is also a leader. Mm. And she said to me, that's why in her space, she doesn't allow for someone to bring in the news of her. If you bring in the news of somebody to tell her, you say, okay, just wait, I'm coming. You will call that person. I say, let's just trash the issue mm. here. Repeat what you said. Mm. If it's a lie, the person will not be able to. Mm. If it's the truth, the person will say it boldly. Repeat that thing you just said to me. 
in the presence of the person mm. you are saying said whatever you said the person said and that most of the time people cannot so because they know she will do that they don't even bother coming mm. now that is for one who people come to tell things but what if the leader is the one who calls you so that they can tell you things mm. and have you also tell them things that is that is smelly <laughs> That is smelly. You can't have love function in such an environment. Mm. Where a leader will call another person in. Then after you call another one. And then after you, he will call another one. And then you will now be the subject mm. he's going to bring to the other one. And then the person will ah. come to you again to tell you what was going on. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so, 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 so bad. It's... Ah, no, 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 no. It's smelly. It's smelly. If something is wrong, deal with it. If something, God said to the Israelites, I mean to Samuel, it's not you that they rejected. They rejected me from being their leader. So you don't worry. Go fulfill. You understand? I will give them a leader, <laughs> but he will deal mm -hmm. with them. Why? So you see, even God knows the importance of leadership. Mm. Yes, let's pray for our leader. But if you are a leader that have itchy ears, looking for who will bring you the latest news on another person, you can imagine when a leader calls you in so that they can mock somebody. <laughs> I told you that person was doing this. Mm -hmm. And then in my heart, I was I I, I sat back and I asked him, this person did this. Yes. Mm -hmm. But how did you do your best to save the people involved? I didn't see a heart that want to rescue them from that nonsense and say, come out of this. Mm. You are more than this. But I saw a heart that want to laugh and say, You see, I said it, I was right. You see? You were doing it. Why? Because you think you are so righteous. Mm. You never fell into that. That is the ultimate sin. So if anybody falls into that, they are they are bad. But because you never fell into it, so you are the righteous example. Mm -hmm. Is that what is beneath it? To laugh. Oh, he was a leader of so so and so and he got her pregnant. And they were hiding it. Okay, now that you know, what step did you take to see that your brother, your sister, is restored? Mm. You're not interested in their restoration. You're just in interested in proving your points that you said it, they were doing it, they are bad people. How have you helped them? So you call anybody you can call inside to tell them. And then you laugh. How does that help anybody? How does that grow anybody? How does that increase anybody? How does that bring anybody to repentance? There's a pastor when I commit sin. And if uh, when everyone knows that you did this in the church, they call you front of the church and they say, From today, we no longer have any activity in the church here. We submit you the hand of the devil. <laughs> I have something to say about that. You know, most times people will say, Paul said we should do that. Mm. Not Jesus. But, <clears throat> but mm -hmm. they lack the understanding of the heart behind it. Mm. 
They have grown cold in love and compassion and Father Heart of God. Before you crucify me and say, Correction, I'm coming. Because in God there is always a balance. Jesus with the woman that was caught in the act. Mm. If Jesus had brought a judgment, he would have stayed. Because that was God on the, on the earth. In the human form. But what he told her, what he did was not just tell her you are forgiven. He restored her. Mm -hmm. The heart of God is always reconciliation with the Father. Mm -hmm. The heart of God, he said, God is not pleased to see a sinner die in his sin and go to hell. It grieves him. How many of us at the bottom of our hearts Can we find restoration as what is in our heart for the next man? Let's put that one aside. When Paul said what he said, if you look at the context at which he was talking about, he was talking about someone who has grown callous to sound doctrine. He said, you people are allowing nonsense up and down. All you are bragging about is we have the gift of the spirit. We have the gift of the spirit. Mm. What is the gift without the fruit? Mm. Don't you know? The gift of God make, is without repentance. Mm. So if he has given you, he has given you. But you can have the gift and be devoid of the fruit. But it's the fruit that will bring you into eternal peace. Not the gift. So everybody wants to show off in their arrogance by speaking tongues. That is all that they are doing. Mm, that's why I don't like those people. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> no, you understand? That was all that they were doing there. All they wanted to show is, oh, I can speak in tongues. Please, so I know how to speak in tongues. Have you heard my own tongue? Two hours, three hours. Have you hours. heard my tongue? <laughs> what is, what, the, you know, you, like your books now, okay? I'm just, I'm just creating a picture. I didn't say this is what to do. You understand, but I'm just creating a picture from mm. the story. So sit down and look at that person. What is this? Mm. This, 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 this small boy tongues. Mm. Let me speak my own. And there's somebody, hey, have you heard that? That one is another one. No, oh. you understand. And that was what it was a show of who has a gift mm. better than the other. And inside themselves, someone was sleeping with his father's wife. Mm. And Nobody bothered. In fact, the person did not care what anybody will say. He was sleeping with his father's wife and he did not care. He was fine. What anyone thinks about it, mm. says about it. And he said, such should not even be in your midst. This person had grown callous to... to repentance. He, he, he had grown callous in his sin. He doesn't care anymore. And he said, cast him away. Let him feel the pain. And what he's doing is nonsense. Hopefully, that will make him repent. You see the heart behind it? The heart behind it is that we need this person to come back to his senses. But he doesn't mm. care. So treat him like an outsider. Mm. Maybe if we don't treat him that way, <clears throat> he will Come back to his senses. But even though you are not allowed to, go, to submit him to the enemy. No, Paul used the word give him to the enemy to buffet his body. That is, let the enemy deal with him small. Maybe then he will realize what he was, you understand, what he had that he despised and mm. come back quickly. You understand? Paul was not saying that once somebody falls into sin, we throw him to Satan. That's not what Paul mm. saying. Because if that be it, Jesus would have thrown the woman caught in the act of adultery. Oh. So even to the person that Paul <laughs> said, 
leave him let him go let the devil deal with him you understand because he's no longer listening to reason yeah. paul's heart because if you read after that he said may so that he could come back to repentance mm. it's like i'm telling you don't put your hand in the fire don't put your hand in the fire I'm like ah, give me ah, give me I know and you know I'm what doing. put your hand in the fire by the time the fire burns you you will come back to me and say hey, my hand my hand and i say yeah sorry yeah bring bring iodine i won't even tell them bring a ointment let me know bring iodine so when they bring the iodine i pour it it burns you Tomorrow when I tell you, don't don't play with the razor blade. You remember the fire and you say, I'm not playing with the razor blade. <laughs> that was uh, it. It wasn't a thing of throw him away, let him be destroyed, bring him, let us destroy. Do you know how many people we have destroyed by bringing them, putting them in the earth before everybody and disgracing them? Do you know how many people that has destroyed psychologically? that have broken their hearts that have not been healed do you know how many people god had to separate mm. from that and nurture back to the thing jesus said a bruised reed i will not break mm. a smoking flax i will not quench and now i want to show them that sin is not allowed and that is why you see them they'll get pregnant they will abort it because they don't want mm. to be disgraced because the the heart in it is not the restoration there are people that will fall into some things today compassion that fills your heart for them like jesus with the woman that was mm. caught in the mirror the fact that because they're already beating themselves up i had an experience and i was invited a friend in fact how did i know they visited me and i saw that she was I was confused at first. I didn't see anything. I just welcomed all of them, everything. When they were, when they had gone, I texted the other friend and I said, so, so, and so pregnant. And she said, yes. Oh, wow. And I left it at that. After some time, she called me. That she's in the hospital with this person. She just I said, okay, I'll find out time to come. And immediately, I packed myself up. I... I had to look for the place and go see her. And while we were there talking to her, there was just this compassion in the hearts of all of us. And God was using us to strengthen her. To mm. strengthen her. In fact, the word that God was giving us for her was that he is not done with her yet. That this has become an opening of a new chapter. Mm. By the time we were done speaking to her, it was like, you know, I was in tears at the love of God. I was in tears at the love of God I could see. And I just thought, I said, God's love for you is overwhelming that is making me cry. And I will not forget you know, the way she spoke to her. She had already been beating herself. How can I, a child of God, fall into this mess? Mm. But you know, after that experience with her in the hospital, the way this girl picked up, she's like fire now. So if we had casted her to the enemy, we would have destroyed a bruised reed. You have to, ah, we have to be careful. Bible says, let he that thinks he stands, take heed lest he falls. It's not everything you see that's just mm. the way you see it. There are things behind it that you don't even understand. And you will just judge it, just paint it, just say, that's how that person is. You don't even know whether the person is struggling. You don't know whether the person is reaching out to God. God help me. I don't even know my left or my right. I'm trying to understand what is going on around me. Is this this way? Okay, let's go. Is it that way? Okay, let's go. All the person needs is a little nurturing and a little. Okay, no, that's not how to do it. This is the way. Until the person now gets it. But you have brought the person out, finished the person, scattered the person. 
shown the person how the person is not of the Lord. <sighs> and the person will leave with a heartbreak. Lord, these people that I loved, these people that I give everything I could, I could, you know, I could tear down myself for their sake. Mm. Is this what they will do to me? Do you know, you need to be really careful. A lot of people will be broken down. A lot of people will be broken down. People who God was not breaking down. You know, some people they decide not for God because, because of Because of that. <clears throat> you see, this is what God is like. Please let me find the money. Yeah. I see the, past, the person that is talking. Or the person that is doing the thing has never fallen into an error before. It might not be the same error. Mm. But you you miss it every, every day you do something mm. that is not right. And God overlooks some. God mm. forgives some. God says with time he will grow. Yeah. Why don't we have that heart for one another? Because of this. Why don't we have that heart? We want to show that we are more righteous than others. But you see, when it comes to the law, sometimes you don't even know that it is that, that self-righteousness that is dealing with you. Sometimes you don't know because you feel, I remember my, my friend, a friend of mine, when we were talking, and I told her, I said, you have to be careful. Don't, you, you feel you are too spiritual, you can't fall. She said, ah, my sister, that is it. Mm. She said to me, she said, truly, oh, that that is how she actually felt. That she's so strong, she can, nothing can you know, make her for when they are talking or they are praying and all, she'll be like, oh, Me, I'm, I'm above this level. Like, can she tell me? She used to say in her heart, I'm above this level. Like, I'm all for this nonsense. She told me, She said, Honestly, <laughs> that this thing you said is just the thing that I used to feel when we are praying or talking. I used to feel like, Ah, me, I can't fall for this. I have. I must. I used to feel like I am so spiritual. I'm. I'm. A, I'm a spiritual being. I can't fall for all these kind of things. No, I can't fall for all of this. I am. I am too spiritual to fall for this. And so sometimes we feel that. Way. So with that seeing the enemy is wise. Yeah. He's cunning. <laughs> we 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 feel that way. These ones, they don't want God. I am the one who wants God. How do you know? Are you the Holy Spirit? Are you God? Are you in their process with God? Are you in their... Are you in their... Are you in their silent place with God where no man sees? How do you know you're the only one that wants God? Because God is helping you and you're rising in certain things. You think it, you think it is you that is doing it. You think you are the one. You don't know that it is just the mercy of God. If God withdraws his mercy from you, you'll be shocked the madness that will come out of you. The God you say you want, you will find out how much you don't you don't even want him. Because his word says it is him that gives us the power. Both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. Meaning the willingness we have mm. and the ability to do the things that please him, pleases him. The willingness we have towards the things that pleases him. That we are willing to love him. We are willing to obey him. We are willing. And even our ability to go ahead and do according to that willingness. It is him that gives us. So don't boast and think it is you. Mm -hmm. As he gave to one, he can do to the other one. That's why I say that if, if, even if I tell them to be quiet, the storm will start. They will start to talk. So I will tell the stones. <laughs> If you, you think you can't do it, mm. I will tell the stones because I am the one. Even the mm. you, it is me that is doing it in you. Yeah. You know, we need to we need to remember how God deals with us as father, as mother. There's a reason why God spread that attribute of him. Put one in the man, put one in the woman and say family is not complete without it. Yeah. They are all attributes that are found in God. I think even if you say that I'm too spiritual, nothing can make me to fall. That's pride. It's pride, though. 
serious pride. And this person is easy for him or her to fall down. Why? Mm. What they attempt to them by using money, mm. position. Women, food, <laughs> power. Power is another thing. <laughs> yeah. Power. When you finally, when you suddenly yeah, begin yeah, to yeah, feel, yeah. I am in authority, mm. or I am in a place of authority, or I, or I have access to authority. Mm. That thing can mess a person up. We are the favorite of the leaders. We are the favorite of the pastors. And you start looking at others like trash. Most of the time, the enemy come with that. Yes. Remember even... The enemy came to Jesus using that also. Mm. I'll give you all, all the glory of the earth. We are the favorite <laughs> of the man of God. Mm. We are the favorite of the leader of the place. Mm. We are the favorite, and then you begin to see others like Trump. You begin to see them like Trump. If mm. you want, if you want to enter into our circle. You want to enter into our sin. You have to do the things I like. You want to come into our sin. You have to, you have to buy my love. You want to come into our sin. You have to, you have to please me. Because we are the ones now that are ruling and reigning. So every day I'll call you. Come and wash my plate. Come and wash me. I go and buy something for me. I'll give you the money. Go and buy this. I cook the lunch for me. Because we are the ones who are ruling. So the more you can succumb to me, the more I will favor you. Oh, we are the favorite of the leaders. So that means we carry ourselves like we are the, we are the mm -hmm. most righteous, we are the most religious. We are the favorites of the leaders. So we can shut you down whenever we love because we are the favorites of the leader. Are, are you loved enough like we are loved? Are you shown tenderness enough like we are shown tenderness? Then you start looking down on people. Sit down there. No, let them sit at that side. Let them sit at that side. This side that hey, what is it? What do you say you want? You don't know that those bags are beginning to grow on your shoulders because you think you're doing a righteous thing mm -hmm. by being the favorite of the leader. But watch Jesus. The higher Jesus rose, the lower he brought himself. Mm -hmm. That Jesus, the Bible says, claiming equality with God was not going to be a sin for him. But he rather humbled himself and chose to become like a servant, even born in the Born in the likeness of a man. For you to know how way down the man is. He chose to come. And not only come that far, he chose to be beaten and, you know, dragged like a common thief and hung on a cross. Mm -hmm. When it is written that cursed is anyone who is hung on a cross, Jesus chose to receive a curse. Why? Because was pleasing to his father. He, did, he saw that his father desired to have man back. Mm. He said, if this is what it will cost to give this one, this thing that he desires, I will do it for you. Why would God now not give him a name that is higher than every other name? Why? So when the higher you go, the lower you should become. We are the favorite of the leaders. Help others have access into love, access into family, mm -hmm. access into feeling like feeling <clears throat> valued, As, access is to feeling restored. Because the leader might not be able to attend to everybody one on one, but you have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to make that one that feel like he's not seen feel like he's something. That is why God gave you that privileged position. Mm -hmm. He didn't give it to you so that you can stamp on everybody else. Or so that you can feel like we are, you can think because you are the favorite of the leaders, you are, you are the most right, you are, you, are, you are coming to a level of righteousness and holiness. 
and spiritual maturity. For real? The Bible says that the righteousness of a man is like filthy rags. So you think because you are close to the leader, you are now righteous. So it is your closeness to the leader that guarantees your spirituality and your righteousness. There could be somebody there who this leader does not even see. That is more righteous than even that leader before God. And you do know. This is tough. It's very tough because sometimes when even people see that you're close to your readers, they run away from you. Yeah. Because they don't they trust you anymore. Reports, yeah. yeah. They think you're bringing their report to the leader. So when you have problems, when you have problems, sometimes you see your readers, they're not there. Mm. <laughs> They are not there to help you. You see, let's help one another. There's a reason why God gives leaders people that, are, that work directly under them mm -hmm. or very closely with them. It's to help them in the places where they are. A leader may not be able to go and minister to everybody individually, but you have access to the people. There's a reason why God made it so. The leader might be focused on other things that makes him not able to meet everybody one-on-one, -on -one, but you have access. You are like the connecting point to the man down there and the man up there. Mm. It's not a privileged position for you to now feel like we have arrived. It is our, there, was something, there was something somebody used to say to me back then on my base. Your regime. And I look at the person, I say, you, you, whose regime? I hated that word. I hated that word to the core. Regime of what? Your tenor. Tenor of what? Am I am I am I campaigning for presidency? Or governorship? So tenor of what? <laughs> Maybe they are paying me a lot of money. Which which money? <laughs> Tell of what? If God has made me to work closely or directly with my leader in such a close you know, proximity, it's for the benefit of those that feel like they cannot access them. My 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 first responsibility, aside every other responsibility that everybody sees me handling, is to make the man down there know that he's valuable to God first and valuable to the person up there mm. that his opinion counts his feelings matter his voice is important because most times those down there they dread those up there most times those down there feel like they are they are not they are inconsequential to those up there it's you that make them see that they are important Mm. It's you that makes them see that we are really a family here. It is you. It's you that connects the dots. It's not a time for you to feel like now I'm in power. What useless power? Is it not a job that God gave you? You will leave it and he will send you somewhere else. Who mm. knows? He might send you somewhere else to go and be a staff in the kitchen. So what would you have? What would you do? <laughs> you need to you need to rise into the things that matter to God and leave this stupid fleshy, earthly simple nature, nature alone you know most times you think because we are now born again all things are passed away all things are becoming that means flesh is <laughs> you don't know that except the holy spirit mm. helps you flesh is always breathing mm. always breathing and until god highlights it to you you won't even know that that is flesh until the day he tells you hey bro say hey, see this one you are doing hey, you have to let go of it. that's the day you realize oh my goodness you mean that was my flesh not even the spirit <sighs> Yeah, if you 
you are dead and you are treating people like this. Honestly. I think I believe that there is no room for you in heaven because we are here to serve one another in love. Mm. We are sisters and brothers, kingdom of God. Mm. There is a picture we saw someone says that you can't worship God mm. and they treat people like garbage at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you have experience like this. Drop your comment there. Yeah? Mm. Don't say that we we finish. <laughs> we talked about everything. So let's stop here. Mm. Pray for us as we finish. Okay. We thank you. We thank you because of the wisdom of God that is beyond understanding. Your word says that by your stripes we are here. But you said the works we do, we will do them also. Anything more than that. So that means if your own stripes brought healing to us, we also will have stripes. And the stripes we have will also be for the healing of the nation. And so Lord, we thank you for that. We had to partake. That is also a cup of the Lord. Because you partook of it. We thank you that our stripes can bring healing to the nation. What we are. Is that the water that flows out from the stripes that we got from the different experiences you allowed us to open? So, those out there who have been heartbroken because leaders didn't treat them fine, or leaders disgraced them, or did things to them that was just overwhelming, they couldn't handle, and they felt if the leader that they so love do this to them, then God has done it as well. And so they walk away from you because they say, This does not look like the you that they hear. I pray that you will find them, God. And you show them that you are not any man. You are God. And when you love, you love absolutely. And when you heal, you heal absolutely. They ask for restoration in the hearts of those that have been broken and wounded by our leadership in your house. Then in the way we have expressed leadership, people have been wounded. That you would be You said you sought a man and when you could find none, your own right arm. Let your right arm go into the heart of as many as been wounded by leadership in the church. And when I say church, I don't just mean the church as we know it, but the church being gatherings of believers. People have been wounded. Really. A lot of people in the house of God have been wounded. They've been wounded. They've been bruised. They've been hurt. By brethren. And when I say brethren, I don't just mean members of the church. I mean even leadership of the church. We all are brethren. They've been hurt by the household. Go into every room. Go into that every wound, balm of the lid, and bring your heart. Holy Spirit, you know the broken heart. Restore those that fell off. Heal the broken heart. 
of those in belief. Open the eyes of those that have lost the fatherhood presence of God and the compassion of God that is expressed as a mother. Draw it back. That your people will be made whole. We bless the household of God. We bless the children. And we bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh -huh.